Here's the scene in Newton today as some scrambled out of an apartment complex that caught fire. It was just after 1130 this morning when flames came shooting out of the building at Fox Meadow apartment complex. Good evening. I'm Craig Anders. Thanks for joining us after the game. That fire on the west side of Newton today sends one man in critical condition to the hospital as fire crews from four different towns converge on that blaze that left more than a dozen people with no place to call home tonight. Case and Hannah Adamson on the scene talking to some who lost everything. Well, Craig, I spoke with several residents displaced by this fire. Some telling me while this wasn't the first fire they witnessed at this complex, it certainly was the worst, adding they're grateful for the community rallying behind them so quickly. My roommate comes running in and wakes me up going, there's a fire. Moments later, Joshua Armstrong, his wife and his roommate rushed out of their second floor apartment to safety. Not a second too soon. I walked around into the, because there's a, like a courtyard area and I walked around and it, I felt the heat before I even cut the corner. Armstrong says his apartment is a loss. Yeah, I managed to go around and it was literally it had gulfed the entire back corner of the apartment. It was just nuts. Matthew Davis asleep. lives in the building adjacent to Armstrong's. Some guy knocked on our door and told us there's a fire, there's a fire. And then shortly after I looked, we had a, just enough time to grab some of the animals that I had. In the rush to escape, three of Davis's cats were still left inside. Thankfully, all three were rescued. None were harmed. I don't want to cry and whatnot, but definitely a heartwarming moment. The city of Newton says 15 residents were displaced as a result of the fire. For all the families that did get caught in this, I do and deeply sorry about this. The state fire marshal is leading the investigation. So far, no cause is being released as to what started that fire. The Red Cross and others are making sure residents out of their homes have a place to stay for now. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3.